Hey, so I'm here with a B. Uh, he's been one of our first beta testers. He was one of the first ones to get the Snowbot S1 prototype. And uh, Abi, where are we? Yeah, we, we are in Apple Valley, Minnesota, as you can see. It's negative 20, it's too cold. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, it's really tough to come out and shovel snow in this harsh weather. So that's where I believe Snowbot comes in handy, that you can stay in your home and control it. And I guess, yeah, in your future versions, you'll make it fully automated as well, that it'll clean on its own, which we do it now as well. We have to do some minimal setup, and then it does pretty good job uh, once you set up the beacon poles and draw the plan. And yeah, it cleans pretty well. Uh, and uh, the best part I like about it is uh, I, I have cleaned one foot of snow. Without one foot it, of snow? One foot of snow. Oh, wow. So that is around yeah 12 inches, right? So yeah. it's crazy. So yeah, but it worked out well. So Terrific. that's a great experience. And what do you, uh, how do you find the power of it as far as snow throwing, as far as the traction, that kind of thing? It's it's way too powerful, I think. it's You can see it's like a tank. It cuts <laughs> through the snow and it pretty much throws too far. I don't see any problem. Once you layer the plan right. and then it uh, keeps on throwing in that direction and it cleans up the whole map that you draw out. So I usually use it for my driveway. You can see it's uh, inclined. It's yep. it's a pretty steep slope, yeah. but still it, it does pretty good job here. So Terrific. Yeah, and we, we kind of messed up the driveway doing some testing and whatnot, but obviously it, it gets pretty down to the, yep. the concrete, I guess. Yep, yep. That's uh, that's really good thing about it is in the slope also it maneuvers pretty nicely and it goes sometimes when it stucks it keeps trying it and eventually it comes out that's the good part gotcha. about it so yeah it's it the nice trying. nice part about a robot it doesn't care it'll try it'll try and try and try as many times as it needs to yeah and what are you uh, what are you excited about with those with the features there the improvements well I'm uh, excited that uh, it'll First, remove this beacon thing, set up things. That right. uh, it'll act like a Roomba vacuum cleaner. You just lay out the map and then you're good to go. It's pretty simple. And uh, and it has its own docking station, like a yep. vacuum cleaner's uh, yep. robot you have at home, right? It's same like this. So yeah, that, that'll be awesome. I think that'll solve the, a lot of problems. Uh, the groundwork that we have to do. It's I spend now like five five to ten minutes doing some groundwork. That's okay. Just set up. But yeah. yeah, those things completely it'll be eliminated in that. So I'm I'm really excited about yeah. Yeah, to no, try that out. Be so. nice. And what what drew you to the snowbot? Well, like I said, it's it's really harsh weather, negative thirty. Yeah. You can't feel your fingers after I can't feel my nose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. After a few minutes you can't feel anything. So <laughs> It's better to stay inside and clean it, sure. stay safe. And so safety is a major concern I had. Sure. And, uh, I don't want to get frostbite cleaning snow. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, for no, hours for sure. In negative 30. So that's the uh, best part I have seen. Like uh, I can peep through my window. I can see it's automatically cleaning. I'm not even controlling it once I set it up right. and lay out the plan. It does the cleaning uh, on its own. I don't even need to control it. So that's, gotcha. it saves me time as well that way. So yeah, I don't terrific. need to spend <laughs> and yeah. put a lot of effort cleaning manually. So. Right. Terrific. So, and as far as you're from Minnesota and yep. it's a it's a really challenging place for any type of snow removal. Does it does it get your approval? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, great ideas, guys, and wonderful product. I I appreciate uh, trying to make world a better place, building this one and making <laughs> our lives easy with a busy schedule. It's really challenging to come out at night and clean snow. So yeah. that's that's the biggest thing it addresses. Yeah, there are a few issue, minor issues, but I know you are addressing it in Snowboard Pro. Absolutely. So that will be really great. I'm excited about it. Terrific. So. Well, we can't thank you enough too for participating in the beta, um, giving us all your feedback. You've yeah. been vital to the process. I mean, yeah. as you know, we take feedback very, very seriously. So um, yeah, we're looking to all the improvements in the S1 Pro and uh, we can't wait till you get it. Yeah, glad to see you guys and I appreciate coming all the way <laughs> through China. <laughs> it came yeah, good customer service, right? <laughs> great. That's the best part I liked about uh, this snowboard is, yeah, you guys never left me stranded. 
லைக் இந்த நைட் ஆர் வாட் எவர் வென் எவர் ஐ பிங் ஐ காட் ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் தட்ஸ் வாட் ஐ அப்ரிஷியேட் ஸோ ஸோ தட்ஸ் பெஸ்ட் திங் ஐ ஐ கேன் சே அபவுட் யூ கேஸ் த சப்போர்ட் ஐ ஐ ரியலி லைக் த லெவல் ஆஃப் சப்போர்ட் ஐ நெவர் காட் இட் ஃப்ரம் எனி ஒன் ஸோ இட்ஸ் ரிஃபிக் யா பிகாஸ் இட் இஸ் அ ப்ரோட்டோடைப் ரைட் தேர்ஸ் தேர்ஸ் டெஃபினி கொஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் திங்ஸ் லைக் தட் பட் வீவ் ட்ரை டெஃபினி ஆர் பெஸ்ட் டு சப்போர்ட் எவ்ரி ஒன் இன் தி பேட்டர் யூனிட் ஸோ அண்ட் வீ அகைன் வீ ரியலி அப்ரிஷியேட் யுவர் சப்போர்ட் இஸ் வெல் ஸோ அஸ் ஃபார் இஸ் ஹவ் யூ ஹேண்டல் ஸ்னோ ரிமூவல் பிஃபோர் the snow bot so, um and the different kind of options here in Minnesota what are the popular ones oh, well i i tried couple of options and failed <laughs> <laughs> miserably so i bought snow blower powerful snow blower it was 200 1200 or something 1300 like that yeah it was really good uh, snow blower but uh, uh, the problem was i felt sick <laughs> ah. so i can't come out and clean right yeah. even if i have powerful machine you have to spend time and have put effort to sure. walk in and clean so that failed so i decided i'll then give it for contract so uh, contract varies from like 600 dollars a season or every time cleaning 45 dollar or 50 dollars like that oh wow and sometimes they bail out also the yeah. entire season <laughs> this year happened with me i got frustrated uh. that motivated me to figure out what is some other automated solution that i don't need to go out gotcha. and so that was one of the motivation to figure this out this is totally worth the money i would say because yeah even if you are sick or something anyone can operate from home at least you right. don't need to go out right yeah and you don't have to rely on that's someone. the biggest uh, problem it's addressing so but other modes even if you pay the money still you have to come out and uh, do it by yourself right or every year if you go by contract every year you have to find those people you don't find the same people every year yeah and it i guess and it's a hassle and right. sometimes they bail out <laughs> they right. don't show and up. i guess you're on their timeline they're on timeline yeah right. so so yeah so those are the challenges with various like snow cleaning options so yeah so far this is the best one oh terrific <laughs> yeah so. oh great Thank you. So yeah.